Hey, I'm Steve Mignotti here for Blueprint Engines with Alex Dietke, a calibration engineer. Now, Blueprint Engines is known for sending every crate engine with a verified dyno sheet generated by that engine on one of the five dynos here at Blueprint. Well, there are three more dynos in addition to those five, but they're used specifically for R&D, research and development. Alex is a calibration engineer, and tell me, what have we got right here going on? So right now, this is one of our future uh, 383 multi-port fuel injection products. Okay, did I hear you correctly? I mean, generally you guys sell carburetors or a, su a supplied EF5, but do you have an in-house EF5 system coming? Is that what I heard? Absolutely, that's what we're working on. Very cool, okay. So this engine is right in the middle of development at the moment. Okay. We're working on doing volumetric efficiency calibration right now. So we've already laid the groundwork with some of the sensor calibrations and the flow models through the engine and we're ready to start actually tuning how the engine's running. Okay, now this package will be a multi-port fuel injection with an air door, a throttle body, and then eight injectors. So it's a pretty developed piece of uh, equipment there. Uh, is it mass airflow or speed density? Which type of injection? So this is, is a speed density system okay. and that works out a little bit better for us. It's a little bit more versatile. That way we can control everything about the air that's flowing into the engine and how that, that's read by the ECM. All right, well, let's watch it in action. And, and what are you doing is you? So right now we're gonna go through, we can do a short sweep. Um, like I said, this engine's in the middle of production right now, so we can only get to about 4,500 RPM. We don't have anything calibrated out past there. And then um, I can show you at a steady state kind of what we're doing to tune right now. Now, data is being picked up by what sensors in that dyno cell right now? So right now, um, mostly what we're looking at is our wideband O2 sensors, okay. and that's going to be on the dyno side. And we also have narrowband O2 sensors that the ECM is being able to read off. Okay. 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 And what do we have here and is that acceptable or what's the report card? So what we're seeing right here is Next. various different sensors um, that we're specifically paying attention to to use volumetric efficiency and uh, or to do the volumetric efficiency calibration and um, the VE Cal the Basically what you end up looking at is our O2 sensors. And so we have a commanded, we use fee, so it's an equivalence ratio for air fuel ratio. Okay. And we use fee and we have a commanded fee that the engine is supposed to target. And then we have the feedback loop with the O2 sensors being able to pull or add fuel if it, as it needed. Okay, so essentially what you have is a theoretical ideal, which is the program, Correct. and then the mechanical reality of the injectors and ignition parts doing that is something that you are making happen here. And once that's done, you seal it, nail it down, and ship it to the customer, Absolutely. so the customer doesn't have to mess with calibrations on their end. Correct. All right, well, good stuff. Well, this is just one of many dynos here at Blueprint Engines that are used to calibrate new products. To learn more, go to BlueprintEngines.com and stick around for more great engine tech with me, Steve Mignotti.